Welcome back to my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. My name is Martin. When we last left our brave Kerbinauts, Jebediah and Bill, we were slowly coming closer in an attempted rendezvous. And you will see they're just a little bit behind me now, but our speeds are awful close. So I've slowed down a little bit. What I'm hoping then is that they will catch up by raising my apple axis a little bit higher here. And what's going to happen soon is I'm going to start doing more direct burns, trying to head towards there. And it's going to do all sorts of weird things with the apple axis, periapsis, and the orbits. And it's going to look weird. But when you get close enough, it doesn't matter because it'll fix itself as I try to match the speeds of the two craft. 7.8 kilometers. I think that's pretty good. What I'm going to do see if I can just line up. So yeah, they're a little bit behind me, so yeah, I gotta head backwards a little bit. And they're a little bit to this side as well, so I'm just gonna Just a little bit of a burn. Of course, that's done probably horrible things out here. That's practically heading back into the atmosphere if I were to let that go, but I am not going to. See, maybe I should do this really briefly to avoid having... <laughs> this could work. To avoid having debris, get rid of that lower part. Okay, turn on the RCS. Get away from it. Okay, I need, need to... Okay, we've got to play with the controls here. Which way do I want to go? Translate controls. If I do nothing now, they are going to pass. Nope, this way. They're going to pass below. And they are passing below. Nope, this way, this way, this way. So of course what this is doing now is adding delta V, or adding speed. What I want to do is essentially get them to stop. Relative motion. Getting close. Okay. Just a little bit still. Nope, this way. Now which way is that going? I want to now push down a little bit towards them. Yeah, that's right. So again, probably doing horrible things to the the orbit, but is that correct again? Yeah. So they are drifting away. Not so good. Well, this is a good reason why to bring two RCS tanks when attempting this. It's the first time I've done it at Rendezvous in a while. But I have been watching a lot of videos, so you know. Presumably, uh, they've helped out some. Okay. So we're now closing distance again. I wonder if that debris will impact. Well, let's just burn more. Not like we're in a huge hurry here, but just means I'm gonna have to burn more when I get closer to it to cancel this motion. OK. 
Okay, so it's a little bit on the move as well. I just find this part interesting, what it does to the, the overall orbit, even though it doesn't really matter. Can we still see our, yeah, there's our tank, gonna drop back over there. One of the issues that I'm having here now is I should probably rotate the ship to be back a little more horizontal. That's a little better. Okay, I can just see it there too. Nope, there we go. That way, that way, that way. Okay, we are going to lose the distance between them here. The uh, and I am coming up awfully fast as well. Just going to slow that down. Uh, so this part is pretty much all eyeball. You know, you try to keep it. Try to keep it still. And uh, this by saying try to keep it still, I mean try to keep the relative motion between the two as minimal as possible. So there we've lost that. Can gain it back again, of course, just by hovering over it. Whoa! That was awfully close. <laughs> that got a little close. <laughs> that would have been actually probably one of the most humorous <laughs> things ever if I crashed into it and destroyed ourselves. So does caps lock change your how much it pushes out this way as well? I'm just gonna try to still cancel this motion. We don't wanna when we go EVA here for instance. It does. Okay. How are we for okay that's pretty good. So there we have it. That is an orbital rendezvous. I'm going to, uh, of course, get a screenshot of that because I, mean, I don't know how to. I'm going to submit the video, I guess, to Reddit. But but this is how uh, this is how we did. Pretty good. Uh, let me just. No, nope, not that way. Yeah, that way. Perfect. Okay. Bill, let's go EVA. Oops. We got a little bit of difference there. <laughs> now we gotta figure out all the key controls again. Oh, why not do another screenshot? Right, screenshot. I didn't put any ladders on here, so this actually could be semi-tricky to get back on. I never thought of that. 
Maybe I'll just uh, spend some time doing that now. This going to be what I'm going to grab on there. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's get back on board. Wait, RCS. Things have changed, of course, then. For, forgot that it wouldn't be back on. So let's uh, buzz the tower, so to speak, and uh, say hi to Jeb. I like that uh, when you put the find controls on by hitting caps lock, it does fine for your translation changes as well. We'll wave to each other. <laughs> Bill's not so happy to see Jeb go by. And I think what we'll do now is. Well, let's see, where are we, first of all? Should we do... No, too late to do a deorbit and land at KSC without doing a really rapid deorbit. Well, I hope that crashes. Some more down there. <laughs> okay. going to point ourselves retrograde here. You know what? We can come down, I think. If I do this, right. Could probably come down somewhere just in the water, maybe, next to... next to us. Yeah, well, far too late to do KSP. KSC. I think I see, keep saying KSP. It doesn't take much in your change in velocity to not be orbital anymore. As you can see, no periapsis anymore. We would come down somewhere. I'm going to keep going, though, just to try to come down, at least in the water here, presuming then the KSC folks will have a boat able to come out and get me, or Bill. How far behind now have I left? Already 10 kilometers away. There's KSC just down there. There's that thing. The debris. The problem is, I think, that when you're on rails, it doesn't take atmospheric effects into account. And so even though I drop that thing off with a periapsis of 10k, there's a good chance it's going to just keep going. See, the speed's increasing even though the altitude's low enough that there should be some atmospheric effects. I don't know. And we're out of RCS fuel, so <laughs> that's as good as we're going to get. I'll probably fast forward uh, through this bit and uh, all the way to landing. And there we have it. Bill's back on the ground. 45 minutes of flying time, which is really not that much. Oh, that's pretty. We've got a moon set just about to occur. And I've left Jeb up in orbit. Maybe we'll just leave him up there for a bit and see uh, what else we can do with him. Alright, thanks for watching. My name is Martin.